Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you what you can learn from this point to help you win more singles matches. So first, we're looking at Marat Safin here, number one, former number one in the world, just an incredible player, incredible talent. And he actually loses this point with a strategy from Randy Liu here, really great player, um, that you can copy. You can copy this strategy. So this is commonly called serve plus one, but... We don't even have to think of it as serve plus one. It's just when you get your opponent in trouble, move forward. So let's just look at this. Randy hits a good serve. Marat hits a return. It's a little short. You can see where the ball lands. Lands just past the service line. So look at Randy, man. He is just ready to crush this ball. And he ends up smoking this ball into the opposite corner. So, you know, the serve is on the do side, but he's going to hit this into the ad side. And when he crushes this ball... He actually starts moving forward. This is so important. This is what I want you to copy. When you get your opponent in trouble, you need to move forward if you're on the baseline. So look at Murat. Murat is in major trouble right here. Obviously, his back is pointing to Rendy. And we look, Rendy's sneaking in, but Rendy didn't wait until Murat was in trouble. Look at Rendy at the top of the screen. Watch him immediately. He's already coming forward. He is already coming forward. The moment he crushes this ball, he knows Marat's going to be in trouble. And he then moves forward. By the time Marat gets to this ball, he is already by the service line, hitting this volley into the open court and easily winning this point. The idea is simple. Whether you, you practice a serve plus one, which means you hit the next shot into the open court after you serve, you serve, and then you hit the next shot into the open court, forcing your opponent in trouble, or you're just doing this during a rally. Whenever you hit a strong shot into one of the corners and get your opponent in trouble, and you got to know that the moment you strike the ball, when it comes off your strings, you should know that they're going to be in trouble. You should immediately start moving forward. You want to make sure you split step as they hit the ball, even if you're in no man's land, you got a split step so you can react and move back if they lob or move left or right if they, you know, if the ball goes near a sideline. But when you come forward, look where Rendy is when he's hitting the ball, right? He's inside the service line. Look where Murat is completely off the court. Rendy has this entire court open. Most amateurs I see would wait for this ball to bounce, then hit it into the open court, and that would give Murat more time to get in more to the center of the court, and all, all of a sudden, the job of winning the point becomes much more difficult. If you can copy this strategy from Rendy, where you get your opponent in trouble, you move forward, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.